Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is seventh video in this series and today in this video I am going to show you how to install core operating system which is basically a command based operating system um, from Windows so we are going to install Windows Server 2019 core edition so we'll see to install uh, like uh, Windows Server 2000, uh, 2019 uh, maybe GUI or core both you require a minimum uh, this configuration uh, which is a 64-bit processor you must require and the speed minimum 1.4 gigahertz and RAM you need 512 MB of RAM minimum and the disk space you need 32 gig of disk space so you can see from this uh, screenshot um, this is the screenshot of one core machine it's completely uh, uh, command based operating system uh, to, uh, to manage it you can uh, manage from command command prom or this scan config uh, tool or uh, you can also ma um, uh, manage this uh, com uh, core based operating system from uh, like admin center which is new in 2019 you can manage it from um, any remote a uh, remote computer through the powershell so uh, there are different options to manage this core operating system but mainly this is going to be your uh, CLI based uh, command line based operating system so let's get in so I'm going to install a, a create a one new virtual machine and then we are going to uh, install the core operating system on that virtual machine so let's click on new new virtual machine and click next next I will uh, since this is we don't have option Windows over 2019 so I'm going to select 2016 Microsoft Windows and click next then I'm going to type name Win2K19 code and click next. I'm going to give it 60 gig uh, on a single file VMDK virtual disk file. Click next and I'm going to customize the hardware as well. So I'm going to give it uh, 8 gig for now and 4 logical processors. I'm going to browse the installation media here so this is my installation media of Windows Server 2019 so I'm going to browse it and then I'm going to put on Briz Network and remove USB, remove printer and then we all set click close and then finish so now you can see virtual machine is created and all the settings which we have just done is there so I'm going to power on this machine now So I'm going to hit convert it to boot up and then enter. So it's booting now. So the installation is same as it is the GUI server, but post installation is going to be make some difference. It's a, you are going to get the command command based operating system server operating system so Windows Server 2019 click next I'm going to click on install button now and I'm going to install the data center so you can see the desktop experience which is the GUI one and the second one which is uh, without desktop experience it's going to be description recommended this option is going to be your uh, without graphics interface environment and with the uh, it you can manage it through command prompt powershell remotely through the windows admin center tools so click next and then i accept the license terms click next custom and get into installation so this installation is going to take not too much time it's really quick because it's going to install a only required part which is you need to support CA, uh, like uh, don't don't need the package which is required to support GUI it's not going to install all those packets so it's going to really fast 
So I am pausing the recording here once the installation is done. Uh, I will write back from there. So you can see installation is done and now it's going to reboot and post uh, it's going to do some post installation task. Then we are good to go inside of the operating system which we are installing right now. So it's pretty quick. It's not going to take too much time. So now you can see installation is done. It's required to reset set the password for administrator before sign in. So I'm going to set one password here. So this is going to be its local admin password. So password has been changed. Click OK. And now we are going inside of the operating system. So if you go now, you can see this is the computer name and slash admin. So it's a local account. And I'm going to use sconfig command here to configure this machine so you can see what is currently there on in this machine so first thing uh, I want to s uh, join this machine in domain so I have to configure some IP address here so I'm going to click 8 type 8 which is required for inter uh, network settings and hit enter and then I'm going to select the index number of NIC so 1 and then I need to set the network address so I'm going to select 1 then I'm going to make it static so I'm going to type S for static and then enter the static IP address so I'm going to type my IP address so here it's 205 and the subnet mask then you need to put the gateway so this is good and next I want to set up the DNS so I need to type 2 for set DNS servers so preferred one is my primary DC which is uh, 201 so preferred uh, DNS server set and secondary might is 202 so this is also set and now I'm going to return to main menu and now I'm going to join this machine in domain so uh, I'm going to type 1 for domain or work group then I'm going to join in domain so type D for domain and I'm going to type the name of the domain to join so vector info soul dot local and then the authorized user name and password so vector info soul administrator and the password for administrator account So do you want to change the computer name before restarting? Yes, I want to change the computer name as well because it's not a good name which I have right now. So Win2K19 Core and then the supply the credential to authenticate this request to administrator and the password for administrator. So this is done. Now you must need to restart computer to apply changes. Okay, so I'm going to restart now. So now this is going to restart. Now if I go to the tools, users and computer in my domain, victorinfosol.local, I can verify what is created so if I go to computers you can see here uh, this core machine is going to be my this machine if I go here you can see the data center 2019 so this is good and I am the controller title button so I hit controller title so I need to put the password here so one thing here you can see if I type here password I'm going to log in with the again local account of this computer so who am I so I am Win2K19 hyphen core administrator so I want to log in with the domain account now so 
to do this I have to control to do then I have to use a skip I have to skip the switch and again skip and then I want to try with other user so now you have to type the name of the domain so vector info soul and the administrator account which you want and the password for account and then go ahead and click enter now you can see applying computer settings so it's, so it's very fast now if I see who am I you can see I'm Victor InfoSoul administrator so this is good let's see few more things here what we can configure through sconfig so this machine is now in domain and this is on and you can say uh, this computer name is win 2 k 12 uh, 19 core and if you want to add any local administrator account you can type 2 and then you need to type the computer name oh, oops you need to type 3 basically here to add a local administrator so 3 and then you need to type the name of the user account for example if you want to add 0 1 you can type and that machine that user account is going to be added in local administrator and then we have a configure remote management if I go ahead 4 you have option enable disable and configure server ping so currently if I check I'm able to ping this server or not so uh, ping win to k19 code you can see I'm able to ping it so this is good if you like if I click on 3 and allow remote ping to server if I select no and configure it disallowed ping so if I now ping try to ping this machine you can see it's coming because I have applied a group policy here which is allowing this ping from a group policy so basically you can disable and enable ping from here if you wish and uh, remote management also so this is good and then we have option to windows update settings so download only you can change it to uh, so I'm going to change it to automatic so select type A and it's uh, enabling automatic updates you can see so it's always going to check for 3 a.m. for updates this is good and now download and install update if you want to force the uh, update so I'm going to do it now so 6 and you can see search for all or recommended so I am going to search for all and you can see now it's going to search for uh, updates so if you wish to check this so I want to go to task manager so task mg r you can see here what it's doing so you can see it's check for update it's got three update and if I click Y uh, A for all and hit enter so now you can see it's started downloading updates so it's going to download all three updates which is here and then it's going to apply those updates on this machine so you can see downloading now you can see it's started downloading so this is good and next as config we can do next what remote manage remote desktop if you want to in, uh, allow remote desktop so hit 7 and then you can enable or disable so I'm going to enable it and allow client which is running network label authentication so which is secure one so click yes so it's enabled now so you can see it's enabled date and time windows activation so these are all the things which you can configure uh, through this sconfig um, uh, tool which is in build it and also you can uh, if you wish you can go ahead and use the powershell remote powershell to connect to the server and do the stuff so so this is all about installing and configuring uh, core windows uh, server 2019 core edition so 
thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye